This is Gareth Harold, and this is my review of Magical Girl Raising Project Episode 1. So right off the bat, we get a dark scene of magical girls getting killed by a monster that's defeating him. So I don't know if this is like um, a future scene or just a representation of the main character losing multiple times in the game. Because it switches to um, the main character... Um, Koyuki playing a magical girl game and I guess it's like multiple times that she's failed and she finally uh, beats the character and she gets like a little tiny item um, and is about she's about to not pay attention and she is selected to become a magical girl uh, and that's where it leaves off so then we get to talk with other people that are in her class and they're talking about how there is a lot of magical girl sky sightings and thinks they are seeing them all around town doing different things but they can't really prove it um, so we find out that the main character uh, has won this and is going to become one and she automatically transforms into a magical girl um, so she right away starts going and doing good deeds, everything minor from getting cats out of trees to trying to, you know, um, protect people from bad guys, etc. And we find out that right away she has the highest score even though she's just started. Uh, eventually she gets introduced to the other magical girls in her town uh, through like a chat room. And it's kind of interesting because it has little representations of each of the magical girls. and. Uh, they kind of introduce her to what's going on and how what they're supposed to be doing um, And everybody likes her at first um, And then we find out that she is going to mentor with another magical girl on another night and eventually she does um, she gets to go out and get explained everything and at first uh, she's told where to go and where not to go uh, who to avoid etc and then they see um, a pair I guess one is a mentor and one is the the new person and uh, everybody looks different uh, the main character is the only one that looks like a traditional magical girl um, and then it's explained that that people that are paired are usually mentor and the person that's being mentored um, and then we get a little reveal that the girl that's her mentor is actually Sota, the guy that she had talked to in the past about magical girls. And apparently he's like the only boy that she knows that is interested in magic girls, magical girls. And he managed to also get into this uh, magical girl program. Um, and he wants her to become uh, his partner and she agrees right away um, but at the end of this episode right away um, we're informed that they need to narrow down the amount of magical girls but they haven't said how um, it sounds like so far it might be a uh, contest of getting the magical candies we're not really sure what they're for or why they're trying to get that um, and of course, we've already been kind of spoiled that the through the previews and also the explanation of the story that eventually it'll get darker. And we also know that it's from the same, pretty much the same company that did Donka Ropa. So it's going to probably get dark right away. Possibly not this next episode, maybe by the third episode, I want to say. So it's kind of a little early to judge whether this is going to be good or not. Uh, we'll have to see when the story kind of changes toward a darker tone. Um, visually, it's very good. Um, the music's good. Uh, the animation's really good. We'll have to see how things transpire in the next episode. So this is one you'll want to watch a few more episodes to see whether or not you like it or not. Uh, so like always, comment below, subscribe, uh, Press the like button if you like this episode. Um, and like always, follow me on Twitter and I will see you next time.